guys, Jess here, and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now, last time, we spent the entire day with Little Levin and Malachi, and it was incredibly fun because not only did we spend the day with them, but we built an amazing treehouse. And with the help of Zoe, the treehouse was just like huge. It was crazy. Um, so that was an amazing day because I got to spend time with Levin and Malachi. However, and Garth as well. However, it's back to a normal day and I'm going to have to go make sure that everyone in Phoenix Drop is doing perfectly fine because I don't want anybody to be panicked about Ocasus. I don't want anybody to be left in the dark pretty much. So I make it my routine to check on everyone, as many people as I can, and that's what I'm going to do today. So, uh, without further ado, which doggy am I going to take out with me today? Hmm? Uh, Lawrence, uh, 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 this is the first time you've ever barged in here like that. Uh, Fma, uh, we have a problem. Wait, Lawrence, take a deep breath and then explain to me what's going on. He takes a deep breath. The morning we moved into, this morning we moved into the guard tower. When we looked into the ocean, we saw an Ocasus ship heading this way making ready to dock. We met with the captain on the shore, and it turns out the person who owns the ship is one of the members of the Jury of Nine. Why are they here? I don't know. I wasn't able to see who the member was. As soon as we found out, I ran straight here. I assume Garth is meeting with them now, but you deserve a formal audience with this person and need to make sure they aren't here for you. Uh, should we prepare for battle? I don't think a battle is something we can advocate for, but if I were you, I'd come prepared just in case. Quick, go grab your weapons and armor and we can head to the docks, but do not equip them. Maybe they might actually be here on peaceful terms and we don't want to give them a reason to say we've provoked them. I completely understand, Lawrence, and I agree. Let's, um, yeah, just hang on one second. I, 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 hang on one second, Lawrence. See, after I came back home, I put all of my stuff away inside. Like, literally, I cleaned out all of my backpacks. All of my inventory is completely cleaned. And I grabbed some of Zoe's pancakes. But aside from that, just... <sighs> I need to calm down. Calm down, breathe. <sighs> and wait. Because if they're here, they're here for one or two reasons. Or one or three reasons, actually. They're here for me, they're here for Garth, or they're here to cause trouble. So I need to... Any one of those things, just... Calm down. All right. Um, let's grab my weapons and armor that I put away. Uh, let's see. Grab all of this, but I'm not going to equip it. Do I need my um, diamond pick? Yeah, I'll take my diamond pickaxe. I'll take everything that I need. You never know. What if what if they lock us up and I need to like mine my way out, or or they need to? I I, I don't even know. I don't need a golden sword. I don't think so. I'm gonna put that right there. Um, I'm gonna put all of this away so they can't see it. Um, that I'm holding it or anything like that. All right, doggies, you guys stay here. I, I, I'm i sorry. I just don't want them to think that you're a threat or anything like that. Lawrence, come on. Let's go to the docks. Lawrence, wait. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, what's going on? I seek audience with your lord, not her head guard. Before you get to her, you address me. Just because you are the son of the lord of Ocasus does not mean I would hesitate to pull your tongue from your- Hey! Wait a minute! That's completely uncalled for! Uh, my most humble of apologies. A young lady like yourself should not have seen that exchange of words. Might I ask who you might be? Uh, I don't feel comfortable telling you who I am first. Tell me who you are. Indeed, my sincerest of apologies. My name is Lady Caitlin the Firefist, elite member of the Jury of Nine. I come from the village of Ocasus to discuss business with the Lord of Phoenix Drop. I don't want to provoke her by saying this, but... It's nice to meet you, Caitlin. I'm Aphmau, Lord of Phoenix Drop. I knew I was speaking to a woman of power from the moment I laid eyes on you. Do you think that perhaps you and I could discuss what I have to say in private? Say, on my ship? I don't feel comfortable going ab aboard, I'm sorry. 
understandable. After all, why be at sea when we are perfectly fine here on land? Then I seek audience with you wherever you feel comfortable. No guards, just you and me. Fine. I can grant that. Follow me. After you. All right. Gareth? Uh, Lord Athmau, I heard what you were planning. Please be careful with her. She may seem well-mannered, but I don't trust anyone working for Ocasus right now. I'll send Levin, Malachi, and Zoe to Molly's house in case things go south. Your guards will be right outside if you need us. All right, Gareth. Um, Lady Caitlin, please follow me. <sighs> to be honest, I'm really concerned about what she wants to talk about. Um, I just gotta play it cool. I'm actually glad you guys are here, really, and I'm glad she doesn't mind. <sighs> Lady Caitlin, I am so sorry to keep you waiting. Here, I made some tea for you. Some fresh tea, actually. The other tea I had out earlier was a little old, so I didn't want you to have that. So, what exactly are you here to discuss? This is a very lovely home you have here, Lord Athmau. I also see you have a playground outside. You have children? I... I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Can we skip the formalities and go straight to business? Very well. I've heard from many a source, namely the High Priest, that you are currently the apple of his eye. He's talked about marrying you for quite some time now. Wait... Are you... Are you here to take me with you? <laughs> well, that's very accusatory. I'm a little offended, but I don't blame you. Ocasus hasn't really been on the good side of villages that are outside our alliance. In short, no, I am not here to take you to the High Priest. I am a woman myself, you know. Forcing someone to marry isn't my style. If someone were to take you in forcibly to marry Zane, then it would be another member of the Jury of Nine. Rest assured, you have nothing like that to fear with me. However, Gareth is another story. Wait. Yeah, you're... you're here for him? You just said that about forced marriage, you don't... You said you didn't do that! Gareth is different. Not because he is a man, but because I obey my lord. And if he were to command it, I would not hesitate to bring Gareth back to Ocasus. You can't take Gareth. Don't worry. Gareth's father is the lord of Ocasus, is busy with the current war on Scaleswind, and isn't concerned with Gareth at all. Wait... Scaleswind and Ocasus is at war? What happened? Yes, it wasn't because Garth didn't marry. It is because someone of great importance was recently murdered. Guards from both villages got into a brawl and, well, you can guess what happened next. It's a small war that probably won't be resolved until the murder is solved. Not even a marriage can heal a wound like that. Um... I'm afraid to ask because I'm afraid to find out it's okay. <sighs> was the Lord murdered? Thankfully, it was not. Now, the real reason I'm here. I need to ask you a few questions about a member of the Jury of Nine. I'm sure you've met him. Jeffrey the Golden Heart? Yeah, I, I did. I, I met him. He I was at a bar with him. I see. Did you speak to him? Um, yeah, we actually had, like, dinner together. And, um, just, just as, you know, just acquaintances. I see. Did you go to a hotel? Wait, wait, what? No! No, 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 nothing like, no, what? Save it. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly he was doing when he allowed two suspects of war to escape from their holding cells. Why are you trying, what? Because he's branded a traitor right now and currently waiting to go on trial. I am just trying to figure out what happened is all. Was he slacking on the job? Chatting up beautiful women at a tavern? Playing with puppies? Or maybe he actually allowed someone to take the prisoners while he turned a blind eye. Oh, shoot! Um. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I, I just had dinner with him. And then we parted ways after the- yeah. I- that's it. That's all that happened between us. I see. Is there anything else you want to tell me? <clears throat> no, that's, um, all I know about Jeffrey. 
Hmm, very well. That's all I wanted to ask. Now then, Lord Afmau, with your permission, I would like to stay docked here in Phoenix Drop while I continue my investigation. I know that it's an uncanny request, but there are people in Brightport I'd like to question. Lord Bert is currently ill, and I do not have permission to stay there. May I remain here? I promise I will not be a burden as I'm sure Zane was. Oh. Shoot, what do I... If I tell her she can't stay here, she might cause problems. Um, I have the option to ask her to let her stay, but if I ask her to leave, she has to it. Yes, you can stay, but if I need you to leave, you must. I completely understand and fully can honor that request. Thank you. I will be on my ship with my guards continuing my work. Your time is appreciated. It was nice to have you, Lady Caitlin. This is not good. Jeffrey could be in trouble. I... Uh, I know, guys. Just... Stay here. I... I need you to protect this house today. Alright. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to Garth, Lawrence, and Dante and see what their take is on this. And... <laughs> they weren't kidding when they literally said they'd be outside. Um... Garth. What did she want with you? I might as well explain everything. Jeffrey, they're trying to find him guilty for letting you... No. For his sake, we must not say a word about his actions in helping you. We keep quiet or they will execute him. They can't! No, they can't! He has a daughter that's... We have to help him! The only way we can help now is by staying silent. He will not be put in jail until they have solid evidence. I don't know what she told you, but she was probably trying to make you feel guilty. It will be a while before they take him to trial. Believe me, we'll hear about it if a jury of nine guard goes to trial. For now, we wait. <sighs> She's staying at the docks, Garth. What? No! No, no, no! But, dang it! We can't refuse her either, or we'll start something. That's exactly what I said! Um, I need to tell you that Ocasus is at war, Garth. So that's why Zane had to leave so suddenly. I don't think Caitlin the Firefist will try anything with Ocasus so preoccupied, but we'll keep an eye on her. That makes me feel a little better. Ugh. I'll stay here and watch for a bit. Just make sure everything in the village is okay. I, I can do that. I can do that, Garth. I think we'll be perfectly fine. Just, ugh. I don't like her here. Sorry. She seems sketchy. I don't feel right about her here either, Don Lawrence, but <sighs> I just don't know. What are you wandering around for? She's a great fighter. I'm sure you can tell by her name. She uses her fists to fight. Her weapon of choice is her pugilist knuckles. It's said that she punches so fast her fists turn to fire that can melt a sword. What? Wow. Yeah, I need to train more. Which reminds me, I don't think now is the time to mention this, but Kawai Chan said she'll be giving me my little training buddy soon. I'm kind of excited. Just thought you should know. <sighs> I'm glad you're excited about that, Dante, but I can't be concerned with Kawai Chan and Lucinda right now. I need to go and make sure that everyone is okay. I. <sighs> I mean, it's just a lot to take in right now. Just. Uh, that ship. Wow, that ship. That's a huge ship. How many. Soldiers do they have on there, you think? Look at that compared to my dinky dog ship! <laughs> I don't care, I love my ship. Still, it's it's huge. That's all I'm saying is that I don't know what's on there. I don't want to go on there. If I go on there, it might be a bad... Yeah, I... It just, it just irks me that they're there. I'm going to go check on Levin and Malachi right now. Gara said they were in Molly's house, so... I'm going to go check there, just to make sure that they're 100% okay. <sighs> I don't feel comfortable with Caitlyn here. I just really don't. But uh, I have to be proper and show her respect before she burns down my village. That's exactly what I have to keep in mind. Oh, Levin, Malachi! Zoe, are you playing against Levin? That's not very fair, you know. I'm kind of scared of that ship. I don't get a good feeling from it. Uh, Malachi? I can feel fear in the air coming from many different people. It's not something I enjoy feeling, Mom. I'm glad Levin is here to keep me calm. <laughs> I am too. Are you concerned about this, little Levin? Brother is fun! 
<laughs> oh, it must be so nice to be like a little bit. Well, you're not really a baby anymore. You're like, you're like Malachi size, but Malachi is like how old? Like 900 years? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Malachi is a ghost. I <laughs> Still, it must be so nice to be carefree. Uh, I remember those days. Oh, Molly, hey, what's going on? Afmal, this witch Lucinda has amazing news. Lu wait, Lucinda? Huh? What? <gasps> Whoa! Lucinda! Oh, I didn't even see you when I came up here! Lucinda! Hey, Afmal, I couldn't help but feel a very strong presence coming from this house. I knocked on the door, came in, and found this girl under a curse of an enchanted necklace. What? You know what's wrong with her? Yes, it's a necklace that is enchanted by a very powerful witches. By very powerful witches, it is designed to make the wearer obey the one who gave it to them. It also makes the wearer become as strong as possible, even if it means altering their physical form. Wait, that explains a lot. Like why Alexis? Wait, can you help her? I can, but it's going to take a few days. The enchantment on the necklace is weakening for some unknown reason, giving me a perfect chance to dispel it. I'll be up for a few nights trying to make a concoction to help, but if I can help this little girl, then it'll be worth it. Lucinda, that's amazing! Why would I say don't do it? Thank you! Anything for a family in need. Now I need to examine her a bit more, if you'll excuse me. Absolutely, yes! Take all the time you need, I'll get out of your hair! Alexis, I want to see- Ender. Um, interesting, but I want to see her awake, Lucinda. Please help her. Um, Molly, can you, please don't let um. I don't mind. I don't mean to be rude, little Levin and Malachi, but please don't let them upstairs. Uh, Lucinda's a little busy, and she's really got something important to do. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! That's some great news today. Yes. Um, wait, what's going on over there? Ah, interesting. Um, wait, what's going on in here? Actually, what's going on with um, Nicole's place? I hope she. Hello, Nicole. Where are you? Looks like you fixed up in here a little bit. It looks nice. Uh, whoa, this this looks really nice. Nicole, what's this? Afmao, isn't this place looking nice? <laughs> Super excited to get my training room set up to polish my fighting technique. I, this is like a little boxing ring. That's awesome. <laughs> Roxy, hey, how you been? Uh, whoa, whoa. You look different, Roxy. Um, it's a good look. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Roxy just looks a little bit different. Interesting. Um, okay. That, that's fine. Um, all right. So, uh, what's going on in the plaza? Let's go see what's going on in the plaza. I know, I know that Emmeline is currently out. I know that, uh, Kawaii chan I don't want to bother anybody over there. So, I'm going to leave them, uh, be for right now. Ooh, oh, oh, she's here. Um, um. <clears throat> Hello, little mittens. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a long- Whoa! Hey! Don't- don't be a naughty kitty. Don't hiss at me. What what's wrong with you? What's- what's going on here? That makes no sense, and I swear I can feel a dog around here. You, you can feel a what? What? Huh? Uh, Donna, what's going on? No, mother. Logan is not a werewolf. Trust me. If he were, his park would be worse than his bite. <laughs> it is- Donna, you're not telling your mother about Logan, are you? I thought I gave you advice. Okay, you do what you want to. I am just going to come over here. Where's Yip at? Actually, where did Yip go? Uh, Logan? I is everything okay? Can can I, um, can I t come over here and talk to you about- <gasps> Yip! Yip's right there! Why does he- What? Stay down, kid. She's a vicious woman. What? Yip? Um, I I'm gonna- Why are, are you hiding? Why doesn't she like dogs? Oh, I don't know, Yip. I am so sorry. I, I see. All right, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys figure that on your own. Well, the statue of Lady Irene's looking even more beautiful every day. I love it. It looks like it improved a little bit too. That looks very beautiful. Wow. Um. Oh wait, they said they moved into the guard tower. I want to go see what's going on over here. Ooh, looks like they like spruce it up with a few banners. That's really nice. Um, all right, let's go inside and oh look, there's a little desk. That's so cute. I mean, not cute. It's it's very intimidating. Uh, why did I even bother to say that? Just don't even say anything. Uh, ooh, oh wow, they they really stocked up on weapons here. They're they're actually really serious about. Uh, I don't blame them either. Just. I think we could do a little bit better than iron swords, but I understand it's something for the meantime. You know, I should really invest time into 
putting in more to our defenses like maybe taking some of the diamond from the Irene incident and making a bunch of diamond swords and you know maybe even some better armor for them I where am I gonna find better armor than uh, I don't know anyway um yeah let's go up here I want to see what they got up here uh let's see um oh 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 they got a little telescope and everything so that way they can keep an eye out I see oh that's very nice and there's just uh, it just bothers me so much. What is on that ship? I'm so curious. I really want to go aboard, but I know better than to. Because what if they just sail off with me and force Garth to go back to Ocasus or even worse? What if they... Uh, I'm not going to think about it. But at least the guard towers moved into. At least they're getting settled in and they can keep watch from out here. I'm actually really glad that they decided to make this guard tower. I can see why it comes in handy now. Um, okay. All right. I just gotta make a better plan. I gotta think of things that can help the village because now things are starting to get real. I didn't realize how much of a threat. I didn't think anybody would come from Ocasus so soon, honestly. But, uh. Anyway. Okay, guys. I think that's it for this episode of Minecraft Diaries. We've got a lot to think about, really, in terms of upping the defenses of the village. I mean, there's so much we gotta do. I have to help the guards here. Just, Brian, I have to help everyone just... Just up our defenses and not with I, I can't let Lady Caitlin notice that we're upping our defenses either because she's gonna grow suspicious and they might do something I, I don't I don't know anyway I'm going to go ahead and talk to Garth Lawrence and Dante about that um thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries I look forward to seeing you all in the next one and until then take care bye bye